Hi guys, welcome to a new video. This is like my home attire and I'm getting ready to actually record today's video. If you haven't checked my previous video, my previous video is about unboxing a very uh, beginner's sewing machine. So today we are going to actually have a hands on with the sewing machine. I'm going to show you how to thread a, how to thread a bobbin. Uh, set up the thread pool and we can get sewing so i'm going to alter a couple of my things i have a loose trouser which i need to really uh you know alter i'm not going to do like the serious uh, what do you say professional kind of alteration i'll do my best because I, my weight fluctuates i my waist broadens and it narrows down with you know we women have that problem where we fluctuate in terms of weight so if you're new to my channel don't fail to subscribe and hit that notification bell so without wasting any time you know what my sewing machine looks like i'm going to show it to you again because we are going to thread our machine to lose around this actual the highest point of your waist when uh, things get loose and so far this is how loose this pant is and I want to alter the, these pants so what I'll be doing is I'll be cinching it on the inside and tightening it so it will be like half an inch on both ends so half an inch is what I'll be pinching on the inside so basically I just wanted to show you how I go about with the swing machine so I thought what best a project than this one so it's not going to be like a major project I need to learn even my cutting skills the cutting to sew a top I have watched like a couple of videos so I'm not really comfortable or sure whether I will be able to do it because this machine is capable of doing like minor projects like tops skirts I don't know yet to try but this is what I'll be showing you I'll be like I said I will be pinching in like half an inch on both ends so that my trouser sits snug on the waistline the highest waist point of my waistline so that it sits snug if your trouser sits snug you're comfortable all day otherwise you are pulling your trousers that's the whole problem with choosing a waist size it's your lowest point your highest point that is all and my videos have to be about my cats showing off their selves anyway let's get into the whole machine to do so to begin with i'm just going to pull this compartment out it has my bobbin and ev everything that is stored i have shown the ziplock pouch i have kept it in the ziplock pouch so i have a couple of bobbins that i have winded last week just about the time that i did the video of the unboxing soon after is when i threaded a couple of bobbins and i have like two bobbins remaining i stole one bobbin from my mom and we have this thread pool, pool thread spool that we'll be working on because my pants are gray so i took a gray one and what i'll be doing is we have holes on both ends of my bobbin i'll be pulling up this way we have this up we are going to hold the tail of the thread this way and we are going to put it make see i'm new with the sewing machine but still i have a lot to learn then we are going to pass this through here then we have this the tension winding disc we are going to take it through the tension winding disc This is how the diagram is you can see my thread pool we have done exactly the same thing now we will pull the thread on the top hole over here okay and 
point we will have the tail of the thread pulled this way we are going to here you can see my bobbin this is a bobbin we are going to press it down the tension winding disc and I'm just going to pull the rest of the thread this way we want the tension to be there in the thread while it threads you know we have to turn on the pedal so this is the thing that I'm going to plug into this area right over here by the way I'm working on my computer desk because I don't have any other proper place to work on and we will turn on the switch this end I'm going to put on the power plug this is my power plug area okay turn on the switch there you have it there's a small light bulb over here so that you can pay attention to your tension uh, your foot your foot over here and your needle and we are going to hold this thread and thread the bobbin okay you see i haven't pulled this secure on the right side that's why this part of the machine began its function so we have to lock this area right over here and we are going to begin threading my bobbin you can see once your bobbin is full you want even to fill the bobbin even more you cut the tail as closely as possible and you can fill the bobbin i'm fine with this uh, con uh, quantity of the bobbin on my uh, thread on my bobbin sorry so we are going to cut this off like this pull the bobbin out and we want to work with the bobbin like this you have to feel your bobbin rotating clockwise while you pull the thread i'm going to keep it this way this is the exact position you're going to place your bobbin in the bobbin holder which lay in your bobbin compartment so the bobbin compartment is over here this is your bobbin holder this part right over here which you see me pulling is the lock you have to hold the lock and pull it out so like i said you are holding your thread like this on the bobbin you're going to drop your bobbin in the exact same position we will pull out some thread drop your bobbin in and i hope you can see there's like this whole direction you need to follow while you pull the bobbin down So once you follow this your thread is locked your bobbin is locked on the inside and we are going to hold the lock of your bobbin and place it in when you place in the bobbin this thing you see this hook you see over here has to go in the support direction there is a small spacing for it to sit on the inside once you place it in this position there is no chance for your bobbin to rotate it stays put like this we close that okay now you can see my bobbin is threaded the next thing is we are going to thread my spool of thread we are going to take it off the tension winding disc there is no use of the tension winding disc at this moment what we are going to do is actually thread my thread into the needle so you see this this lever over here we are going to pass our thread through that
going to pull this take a u-turn take it up when you come up make sure you are following the right hand side of the lever you see the silver portion over here it's the lever we will pull it up with the help of the hand wheel you're going to pull the hand wheel toward yourself once that is done we securely pull the thread in the eye of the needle in the eye of the lever you can see this came out from the eye of my lever you come down and there's this small hook over here we are going to take the thread within that hook see my thread is gone behind this thing this is the hook it's like a hook so you see the thread is gone behind now the only thing remaining is we are going to pass the thread through the eye of the needle okay so now we are going to pass the thread through the eye of the needle and this sewing machine has no automatic uh, facility to thread the needle passing the thread through the eye of the needle this you have to do manually My needle oh, you can see the thread right over here I have pulled it on the behind so what we are going to do the next step is remember we threaded the bobbin we threaded the bobbin it is secure in its compartment now what we have to do is we have to pull the thread that is uh, that lay secure in the compartment out so once the thread from the bobbin is pulled out both the threads are going to function in your stitching so the the top stitch is taken care of by the spool of thread and the below stitch is taken care of the bobbin by the bobbin so what we are going to do is we are going to pull the hand with towards ourselves like this okay, have a look over here there is a loop that has come out you can see this loop right over here so that loop is your bobbin thread we are going to pull it out okay so we have our two threads ready to do a project uh, sewing project we are going to begin our sewing i'm going to lift the there's a foot lift over here i'm going to lift my this up here you can raise it to the highest position i have done my trousers inside out i'm going to stitch it inside out so, this is how i'm going to Okay. and we are going to lower the foot so that you know it presses down the fabric and I'm going to use my electric pedal and see I'm using a gray spool there uh, are like black lines you can select a black spool lever over here we hold this lever just to lock the stitch so I'm going to pull this lever down and I'm going to stitch back. the stitch goes backwards and you lock your stitch then you pull this thing up problem here was when your needle is down you need to pull it up first than the foot level like i said i'm new to this then what we do is the machine comes with a cutter we take the thread right over here through the cutter and rip the thread hope you can see this is the stitch that i selected on my stitch selecting dial 
and i have pinched like half an inch on the inside and the outer part looks something like this so i did one on this side and one on this side so let i'll try the trousers if i need any other adjustments i'll try to do it on the front part this is the back part of my trouser machine tour when i showed you all the parts of the machine this is the stitch select dial my current stitch select dial is on this this is for those hem lines or any other internal part where you don't want mostly uh, mostly where nobody can see i think this is also you, you, you use for pico pico is something that people use on their pallus and all i think that is what it is but uh, this is the stitch select dial which i used for internal sewing so nothing will show on the outer side it will be something that is done on the inside i'll just wear the trouser and i'll show it to you. so this is how my trouser fits me fits okay slightly loose like slight slight bit looseness is what i feel but otherwise this is the back of the trouser so this is where i worked on the stitch you can't see much but the back is not too shabby this is why i find this sewing machine really helpful where i need to work on certain things that i can alter i don't have to walk like place to place find a stall or a tailor to alter my stuff that's why i got the sewing machine to get everything done within the confinement of, of my home and it is very portable mobile device you can just move about anywhere in the confinement of your home if you sit in your bedroom or your hall where you need some you know alone time by yourself to patiently work with the machine there are a certain what you see uh, mishaps that happen when you're sewing like you know there is a lot of thread coming out that is when you have to work on your threading skills threading the bobbin threading your spool and uh, that is what gives you a clean sewing experience so i am pretty happy with what i have done if i feel the need i might tighten a little bit more i don't feel the need to cut the extra fabric in case i put on a slight bit of weight this should you know that extra fabric i can just remove the inseam uh, sewing thread and you know this should fit me perfectly in case i do not put on it but this is just how i like my pants uh, some people do put uh, this elastic waist but elastic waist like you know it's shabby but this is what the pants look like so I didn't want to mess with anything the band of the the waistband of my pants so I just pinched a little bit on the inside half inch on both sides and I sew that so that is my whole sewing experience I have done this last week and I have a couple of other projects that I have to fix I won't be doing a sewing tutorial anytime soon because it's really hard for me to sew even uh, what I showed you right now even the uh, bits and parts what i showed you was really tough for me to really record in today's video if you like this video hit the like button don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell like i said today's video was really tough my cats are all over the place they are tripping on my camera and you know just wind up this video until then bye